Hey everybody, time for another something I found funny today. Uh, but let's go over the numbers first. So, uh, this is the uh, third installment of this. When I first started, uh, the numbers were, we started out at 9,403 subscribers. So, right before I posted the last video, I was at 9,398. Lost five. Sweet. Right after I posted that video, no change. All right, this one actually has 12 views. No change. Interesting. However, it didn't take long. 17 views, and there it is. And from there, it's all fucking downhill. 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 90, 88. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. So let's talk about what's actually going on here. Uh, it's not that I'm being censored. It's not that I'm conservative. It's not that I sometimes wear a dress in videos. <laughs> actually, that would probably be helpful, but it doesn't really seem to matter much. What's actually going on here is, and I have been for a very long time, and it has gotten worse and worse. About three years ago, ended up going to uh, Google Atlanta for their big YouTube conference. Yeah, that was a fucking joke. Uh, I went with the intent, of course, of going to talk to somebody personally at YouTube about my monetization. And they were kind of shocked. They're like, well, how did you get here if you don't have monetization? Well, you people invited me. Uh, I, you know, went through the whole big appeal process again, got denied again for reasons. And ever since then, my subscriber count has been going down. It's very weird. Now, over the last couple of years, in between videos, subscriber count would slowly rise. And then I would post, and boom, down they would go again. It's not bad content well it you know I'm still posting shitty content but that's not why I'm losing the numbers it's not that I'm being censored it's not that YouTube is un unsubscribing people okay so what is actually going on is I'm not being recommended at all not in the sidebar not in the front pages nowhere I don't get any kind of recommendations I basically don't exist because YouTube can't make money off me which is sort of their fault I've appealed gone nowhere so the reduction in my subscriber count is simply normal attrition it could be something like somebody watched one of my old videos and then I post a new video and there's different it's a very different content. I, they could have come in on a farm video or uh, you know, one of my creative videos or a music video or a metal detecting video and today I'm posting something that isn't one of those. Well, okay, they unsubscribe. It could be dead accounts that are naturally rolling off. This is all natural attrition. There is nothing sinister going on here in my fallen count except no new people are able to stumble across my videos. So on with this uh, train wreck to hell. Let's drive this bitch into the ground. Something I found funny today coming up. And don't forget to go subscribe to Happy Insanity channel. Linky's below. Uh, I'm gonna make her upload a new video tonight. She hates that. Hey, it's raining again. And now that we have the numbers out of the way, Time to talk about our next funny-ass fucking story. Hang on a second. I have an unopened beer. Oh, let's fix that right now. Ah. Gonna need it for this one. Uh, on the scale of funny, this story rates a C cup. Hey, hon. Yeah? Have you heard about the Straight Pride Parade? Okay. It's my favorite parade. So it is Pride Month. It's Pride Month. 
We're supposed to be all respectful and whatever of the whatevers. Why can't people just like fucking be people, right? I don't really give a shit who or what you want to fuck. I just don't care. I don't need to respect you any more or less because you take it up the ass. Not my problem. <sighs> pride, pride month. Straight pride parade. So essentially the story is uh, these three dudes uh, went to Boston or have applied to Boston for a permit for their straight pride parade. And apparently there's a problem. Uh, pride month is about inclusivity. So in its founding language, the, the Boston parades, well, they might actually have to grant the permit, which is fucking hilarious. Now, there is some question about the background of these guys, right? They do have a checkered past, uh, but they, they are the super happy fun America group now. And while, yes, of course, there are, there are some problems with the things they've done in the past. They've had, you know, some run-ins with the law and white nationalist groups. Well, who hasn't? The, the rhetoric and the promotion on this event is very quite straightforward, mundane, uh, non non-exclusionary super happy fun America the straight pride America we're here we're not queer we're here we're not queer that's pretty much their mantra but uh, their, their rhetoric in their website and in other places is everybody's welcome everybody is welcome to celebrate straightness what do you think hon superb superb yeah. So I went to go check out some of the headlines, and, uh, well, here's Washington Post. Oops! Uh, apparently the, the dinosaur media has a problem relying on ads. We should all shed a cheer for them because my ad blocker won't let me go see the Washington Post. So not only did they lose ad revenue, which they <laughs> are morons for depending on in the first place, uh, they've lost my web traffic because, well, why bother? Move on to the next one. Three men, straight pride parade in Boston, and celebrities have a lot to say. You know what I have to say about this article? I'm not even going to read it because, oh my God, why bother? I do not give a fuck about what a bunch of pampered Hollywood celebs making five, ten, fifty million dollars a year have to say. That really has zero impact on my life. Don't care. I'm still fucking laughing. But then, then this story takes a turn from C cup funny to D cup funny. Milo Yiannopoulos named Marshall for Straight Pride Parade. <laughs> I, I don't think, I, I, I think these guys are trolling. I think these guys are trolling and they are really doing a fucking outstanding job of it. Miley Annapolis. Uh, for those of you who uh, don't live in clown world, you know, like uh, you know, YouTube creators who spend a lot of time watching way too many YouTube videos, uh, Miley Annapolis is this very queer, very conservative attention whore. I don't know how else to, how else to describe him. He's funny. He's well-spoken, and he pisses off a hell of a lot of people. In fact, he's been banned from just about everywhere, which makes it even funnier. So, the Straight Pride Parade has this really flaming gay guy to be the marshal of the parade. Mm. I don't care about the, the checkered background of these three guys. This is some funny shit. I have not been able to find out yet if uh, the the parade has got the permit yet. But as you go down into the article, let me see if I can find it. Oh well, you know there 
before I get too far, there is the other part of it. They had, had originally uh, been using the name Brad Pitt. Like, uh, if Brad Pitt were to march in a parade, this would be the one he would want. Well, Brad Pitt didn't think that was funny. <laughs> so his lawyer sent them a letter, and I guess they can't uh, use, you know, parody on Brad Pitt anymore. Right, right, right. Brad Pitt, uh, apparently he's not straight. I don't know. I mean, the thing about that, though, what kind of position does that put him in? See, if, uh, if he doesn't do anything about it, the LBGT what-the-fuck-ever psychos are going to crucify him. But if he goes, you know, if he goes against it, well, is is, is Brad Pitt against straight people? I, I don't know. I wouldn't think he was, but I, I, I don't know. I did see Pirates of the Caribbean, so he was pretty fucking gay in Pirates of the Caribbean. Brad Pitt wasn't in Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh. Well, then who was that gay fucker? He's not gay. That's my man. That's Johnny Depp. Oh. Johnny Depp's even gayer than Brad Pitt. No. You got those are fighting words. Right there. <laughs> those are fighting words. In any case, uh, so Brad Pitt doesn't want to be uh, a part of supporting straight people. You can't win, right? Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt just can't fucking win in this. But let's go to the article a little bit because it is funny. It starts out. I mean, the very first paragraph, very first sentence. Right-wing provocateur Milo Yiannopoulos. <sighs> this 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 is a left-wing uh, shtick now, right? This is this is how they do it. Uh, you can't just be like you, right? You have all these other things attached to you. Milo Yiannopoulos, right-wing provocateur. What the fuck does that even mean? It, it, this stuff's basically meaningless anymore. They just make this shit up as they go. Uh, uh, so organizers have announced Parade Grand Marshal. Uh, okay. They have to use stop using Brad Pitt, blah, blah, blah. The head of Super Happy Fun America, a group that advocates on the behalf of the straight community, told the Boston Herald that Pitt was not super happy about the group using his name and likeness without his consent. Tell you, these guys are. These are these. This is uh, D cup funny. These guys are absolutely nailing it. Don't care about their past. This is funny. I really like his movies, and his lawyer sent us a letter asking us to take his stuff down. But you know, we're allowed to do satire. <laughs> the organizers later named Yiannopoulos, who is openly gay, as its grand marshal for the event might technically be a sequined and perfectly coiffed friend of Dorothy's, but I've spent my entire career advocating for the rights... What? The wife is queefing back there. It says quaff. Okay, fine. I might technically be a sequined and perfectly coiffed friend of Dorothy's, but I've spent my entire career advocating for the rights of America's most brutally repressed identity straight people. So I know a thing or two about discrimination, Yiannopoulos said in a statement released by the group. <sighs> this parade is a gift to anyone, male or female, black or white, gay and transgender allies too, who will stand with us and celebrate the wonder and majesty of God's own heterosexuality. Men, bring your most toxic selves. Women, prepare to burn your briefcases because it's great to be straight and we're not apologizing for it anymore. That's We're good, here, not queer. That's a good line. It's great to be straight. There you go. These guys are awesome. They are absolutely, they are not attacking anybody. They are not putting down anybody. They are inviting every. They got fucking Milo Yiannopoulos to lead the thing. Uh, and quite frankly, uh, Yiannopoulos... He's been he's been deplatformed from everywhere. He can't. He's not allowed on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, I'm pretty sure they've taken away his bank accounts, right? I mean, the guy is completely deplatformed. What's he got left? He's an attention whore. More power to him. 
if he can get it and sell it, make some money on it, fucking awesome. It's called capitalism. Boston's trade price reportedly aims to celebrate heterosexuality in a city that is said to have one of the largest LBGTQ what the fuck ever communities in the nation. I added some. Paraphrasing. I know it's a little ironic to have a gay conservative as our icon, Hugo, told the Boston Herald. <laughs> ironic? No. Incredibly fucking funny? Oh, yeah. So if I could get there, I would definitely go, because that would be incredibly funny. And I would go in full drag. I would wear the spiked heels. You love the spiked heels, don't you, hon? Uh huh. <laughs> and the moral of the story is, it's like, well, it's okay for you to be your thing, right? Whatever the fuck that is, to put it up in our faces and parade around town with it. But if we want to parade around being us, you know, straight people, suddenly it's a problem. Suddenly it's an attack. <gasps> You can't be straight. Oh, what will the children think? <laughs> this is fucking clown world, people. This is where we are. This is why we just have to fucking laugh at it. Two thumbs up for the straight pride parade. Definitely a D cup funny. Hope you guys had uh, a little bit of a chuckle. And I'll see you in the next video.